Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna show you a cool green reading technique that's gonna help you make a lot more putts. Let's do it. All right, if you're new to the channel, I do a lot of golf tips and drills in a unique, creative, different way that will help improve your golf game. I also do a lot of product reviews so you know what products are good and which ones to stay away from. So please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you're notified every time I release a new video, all right? Now let's work on our green reading. Here we go. Okay, so this method is called the plumb bob or the plumb technique. It's tried and true. This method has been around for years and years and years, and it's something I've used for a long time. And I find it definitely works, especially on those tough to read pots that you just can't quite figure out what, what it's gonna do. So here's, here's how it works. You can get your putter, hold it loosely in your hand and first figure out what eye is dominant, your, your left eye or your right eye. I'm right eye dominant. So then I hold the putter in my opposite hand. Right eye dominant, hold the putter in my left hand. And I'm gonna line up the putt from the hole, the ball, and then about 10 feet back is me. Right here, straight line, all right? Then I'm gonna shut my left eye. I'm gonna keep my dominant eye open. And I'm gonna line up the flag or the hole right there to my putter right through the ball. And I wanna cover the right half of the golf ball. So I'm gonna cover the ball with my, with my uh, putter shaft, the right side for me. So to kind of go like this, all right? You wanna cover that side. And then the flag, if it breaks left, should be to the left. Or if it breaks right, the flag would be on the other side. Or you wouldn't see it, it would just be blocked. And then you can move the putter to cover the other half of the ball. So check it on both sides. If you can't see the flag, that means it breaks that direction. And then you, you move it to the other side of the golf ball, the shaft line. And you're always looking at the inside of the shaft, meaning the hole is on this side or that side. And that's going to line up exactly where you want to hit your putt, where you want to start it. All right. So let's check this out. We have this putt here from here. It's about a 20, 25 footer to there. It's flat. I don't know which way it breaks totally. It looks straight to me. So this would be a good opportunity to use this technique. And I'm going to put my ball here. All right, there's my ball. Here's me. I'm going to line this up, that flag, my putter, and my right eye. And I'm covering the right half of the golf ball. I'm covering the left half. I can't see the flag. I cover the right half. I see the flag way to the left of my putter. So I know this breaks. I thought it was fairly straight, but it, now this plumb technique is telling me it breaks at least six, eight inches. This is, what it's, this is what it's showing me. So it's showing me it breaks way out here. That's nearly a foot of break. And I read it fairly, fairly straight. I might have played a little right to left, maybe a ball. But according to my plumb, it says it breaks nearly a foot. So I'm gonna line up my ball right at that tee. It looks like way too much break for me, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We put the plumb to the test. Do our best to, to get the right speed here and see what happens. First take. You see that? We just totally went in. First take. These guys are my witnesses. See? <laughs> it's a witness. So I read it just initially. I thought it broke maybe a couple inches. I did the plumb technique. Breaks a foot. Let's do another one. Let's keep going. I mean, that's a lot of break to me. Oh, I had it. I left it short. Look at that. Perfect. We'll do the third one. Just see what happens. The ball's in my way, but whatever. Oh, 
Oh, that would have went in. Hit the ball. Plum technique. Now, it doesn't work so well if there's a hump or a giant mound on the green that you have to go over. It's not for that. This is just for flatter, subtle breaks that will, you're just not sure. But yeah, obviously if there's a big mound, you, you know what's gonna happen or a ridge. That's, you wouldn't use this for that type of putt, but you would use this for something like this where it's a flatter green, a flatter surface, and it's got a subtle break to it and you just can't quite figure it out. Try the plum. Let me know how it works for you. Comment below. If you like this, this is, this is old school method, all right? Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next video.